lot of people tell you that since your building is ICF that you don't need house wrap, whether you call it house wrap, tie par, tie back, uh, air barrier, whatever you want to refer to it as, everyone suggests that, oh, you have an ICF home, you don't need it that, you don't need house wrap. Well, I call BS on that, you absolutely do. Now, the reason that is, is because technically on paper, this foam, whether it's some of it's two and five eighths, some of it's two and three quarters thick, that's considered an air barrier. It'll stop air infiltration, whatever the science behind. That is considered an air barrier. So people think, oh, I'm doing my house. I don't need building paper. I don't need tie part. I don't need tie back. And it's, it's not true. You absolutely do. And I'm basically going to get into it right now. This is supposed to be a drainage plane, right? So all siding material, exterior cladding, if it's metal or vinyl, it doesn't matter, the substrate stucco, it all needs to have a drainage plane in behind. Now this product, or all products, are designed to be vapor permeable, aka breathable. They have to let moisture in, moisture out. On a wood frame building, it's way more critical because you don't want to trap moisture between your vapor barrier on the inside and the air barrier on the outside. Right? So it's got to be breathable. With an ICF, we don't have to worry about it because it will never rot. But besides all of that, what people miss, the biggest thing they miss, is that they think that, oh, this foam, water can't get into it. Water can't find its way through it. And it can. So I'll show you over here what I mean. Okay? You get water, let's say you put some siding on here and the water penetrates through, it needs something to run down. Yeah, it'll run down here for the most part, but what'll happen is it'll run, it'll come into this groove. It, who knows, water can do all sorts of things. It can travel over, it can drip down there, it can get this block line and it'll saturate and it'll soak its way in. And then with conch, like when we do ICF, you, there's positions and, and time where you have a cold joint. So the water will get in, it might stay on the outside of the concrete, but then when you go from one pore to the next, and you have that cold joint, well that's where water can trickle and get its way in. If that cold joint's tipped at all to the inside, it'll just get its way in, right? So people think that it's because it's foam, it's ICF, that it's impervious to water, and that's bull crap. Now, also, we haven't installed the windows yet, but what I want to show you is, okay, riddle me this. You put your window in here, you peel and stick the outsides, you do all this, you do all your proper flashings and you watershed everything, but you don't use, you don't use house wrap. So then what happens is, is you, you have a two or three story building, so water gets in, and windows are the worst, water gets in around the windows and the corners. Now, if you would have papered it, the paper would, the, the water would run on the top of the paper, You'd watershed everything. Your paper would sit on top of the drip cap here, and then it could trickle down and around, and it'd have a drainage plane. But if you don't do the house wrap, it doesn't matter if you peel and stick this till you're blue in the face. It doesn't matter if you have a drip cap, because water's gonna penetrate. It's gonna go through all the cracks and the voids, and it doesn't matter what you do. It's in behind everything that you've done. It's behind your drip cap, it's behind your peel and stick. Doesn't matter what your buck is, it'll get behind your window flange, it'll trickle in, it'll run down the outside. Doesn't matter. If you don't have a drainage plane or something for water to run down, you're hooped. All those other efforts to try to seal a window is basically obsolete. So don't overlook that when you're doing an ICF building, you do need a drainage plane, you do need building paper, or even a fluid applied memory, doesn't matter, you need it.